So I've got some more powder here. This one is yellow powder. There's no charcoal in this. This is actually a mixture of sulphur, again, which gives it its yellow colour, potassium nitrate, saltpetre, and this time potassium carbonate. And that was the stuff, remember, the wood ash, that we extract from the wood ash. Now I'm just going to heat up this mixture. We have two of these spoons here. I'm just going to put the flame underneath that. OK, is that one OK? Yeah. Now, while we're waiting for that one to do its stuff, we can show you that you can get a bang out of gunpowder. OK? And Chris here has got some firecrackers. You just come this way a bit, watch out for the spoons. Yeah, I'm going that way. OK, and we're just going to light this and... Hold on, I'll do it that way around. <laughs> All right. Ready? To, yep. Aha, uh -huh. good. <laughs> now, wait a moment. You may get a bit of a bang in a moment. So, uh, the bang here was when we heated up the gunpowder in a confined space in the little tubes, the cardboard tubes. That gave a bang. This is a sudden expansion. But the powder that's on the spoons here may give a rather loud bang. You may need to cover your ears if you don't like loud bangs. I don't know when it's going to go off. <laughs> But this is a very unusual mix. In fact, chemists don't know how this one works. Okay? I've spoken to... Oh! oh there we are. <laughs> I did warn you. <laughs> There's one more spoon to go. I've spoken to the Reverend Ron Lancaster at Kimbolton Fireworks about this, and he has no idea how this works either. The, we don't understand the role of the potassium carbonate in this. It's not... Oh! Explosive. But it certainly goes with a bang. <laughs> And this is one of the few powders that if you just heat it in the open, you get a bang. OK, right. Well, we've seen the potassium nitrate there. OK, and it's the oxygen and the nitrogen in there that uh, give it its oomph. And we can use this in all sorts of other explosives.